have met you, when you start pursuing God, you're going to run after him. You're going to try to hold him. You're not going to let him go. Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to pursue you until you bless me. Then we shout hallelujah. And you talk of prosperity. Most of the time, people think when it comes to prosperity, oh, it's just financial blessing. It's not just financial blessing, but I'm glad you asked this morning. I'm talking of your health. I'm talking of good things that God wants to do with you. How many people are in the hospital today? Then you start praising God. God is going to restore back your health. God is going to restore back your joy. God is going to restore back your happiness. God is going to restore back your family. God is going to restore back everything. Hallelujah. Look at that number and say, I'm glad I'm here. Say, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. Because God is about to do something in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. I like to refer to prosperity as a blessing. God has blessed me. And then you talk of victory. Woo. Victory is mine. Can you claim it? Victory is mine. <laughs> You gotta learn how to claim, how to get it, how to receive. I'm more than a conqueror through Christ that strengthened me. Amen. And victory is the fulfillment of God's purpose for your life. Amen. You are a victorious. I don't want to hear you say I'm a victim. Amen. Nobody's a victim here. Amen. I'm victorious. Amen. Can we say that? I'm victorious. Amen. Remember, this is a conference. Not just ordinary conference. Women conference. Hallelujah. I recognize men. Not that we don't recognize you, but men, when you know that when women step in to do something, it's always the great. That is why we are here. And in Second Chronicle, say God is ready to move in your life. That he will not do something. He's waiting for you to start praising him. Yes. You've got to learn how to do what? Praise God. Praise is still the energy and confuses your enemy. God said the enemy will come one way and they will flee how many ways? Yes. I want to hear you. They will flee how many ways? Yes. Seven ways. Because of praises. Don't sit down and start crying. Start praising God. If you know the problem that is caused by the enemy, then start praising God. That's right. So when you have the problem God's way, God becomes yours. Victory is yours. There's no one sitting down trying to cry. When we praise him, you embrace the promises of God. You embrace the anointing of God. You embrace what God has for you. Nothing is difficult that a God cannot do in your life. Can we hear men? And then says, let it be so. We agree. And we agree. Look at your number and say, never. I don't know what you came here to do. But I'm ready to praise God. I'm ready to shout. That's right. So if you can see, the women's conference team based on Judges chapter 5 and 6. When I looked at it, I said, hmm, absolutely brilliant. What did I say? Absolutely brilliant. Because you see what God can do. The whole chapter is about the accomplishments that God has given. When God is on your side, who can be against you? So this chapter contains a triumphal entry song, which was composed. The song composed upon the occasion that glorious victory which Israel obtained over the forces of Jabin, king of Canaan, and the happy consequences, which is the victory. It begins with the praise to God 
with a general hallelujah. Woo! Praise the Lord. I want to hear that. Bless the Lord. For this great achievement, for bearing God's appearances for them, and they compare what God did to them on Mount Sinai. You look at the chapter magnifying the deliverance from the condition which the enemies thought you had them. See, the enemies may think that he has you. The enemy may think that he has put you. But guess what? In Isaiah 60, he was, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord God has anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the men, to open the prison gate to those that are bound, and then to set the captives free. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? So reflecting the honor upon those tribes that were forwarding, praising God. You can listen to the scripture that was read this morning. The scripture says in Psalm 27. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, what was it? What was it? That scripture says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Wow. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked and my enemies come around me to eat up my flesh, they will do what? I want to hear from you. They will do what? They will do what? They will stumble and fall while you are still praising God. that I dwell in the house of the Lord and to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble my God will take care of me I don't have to worry about nothing all what I did is to praise him praise him praise him see that devil was the judge and she was the prophetess and she saw what God was about to do. God revealed something to her. I'm about to honor my name. I'm about to show people that I am the Lord yes. your God. Amen. Send for Barak. What did he say? Send for Barak. Because this battle is not yours. Be the Lord. So God is telling you, hold your peace. <laughs> hold your peace means what? Don't worry. Don't free yourself. Let me fight it. You can fight it. Let me fight it. Oh my goodness. Can we shout hallelujah? The soul was designed to give glory to God. God is praised by the song, which is a very natural expression of rejoicing. When you are praising God, nobody's forcing you to praise God. No. He just come. He just come. Do you see yourself? You are taking a shower and you are singing, praise the Lord, praise Him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nobody is there, right? Hallelujah! Because you are thinking of what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! See, in James chapter 5, from verse 13, it says, Is any of you merry? Look at your neighbor and say, Are you merry? Merry means, Are you happy? Sing songs of praise. Sing songs of praise. Sing songs of praise. Forget about sickness. Because sickness is not going to come. When you start praising God, sickness will come. You know what I tell people? You don't need medication. When you wake up in the morning, you say, praise the Lord, hallelujah. In the afternoon, tell your medication, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Oh my God shall supply all my need. I've got into his riches and glory. In Christ Jesus. That's my medication. In the evening, I am the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Can we say, praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. You don't need no medication. So Isaiah 
60 says, Arise, this one, arise and shine. For thy light has, for thy light has, for thy light has. I tell you, this is a conference. It's not just service. <laughs> Hallelujah. I say it's not just service. We have to follow protocol. This today is about praising him. See, when women do something, I love them. Arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has covered the earth. When you start praising, arise means wake up. What are you doing? Deborah said, wake up. It's time for us to praise God. Barak, we need to go. I've heard something from the Lord. God said he's the one fighting the battle for us. Let's go. And they went. Remember, Barak said, hmm, if you're not going with me, I'm not coming. What makes him say that? Everybody say fear. fear. Say again, fear. fear. And I heard God said, I've not given you the spirit of fear. I've given you the spirit of power, love, and a sound. You're going to speak to me today, right? You're going to preach to me today. Woo! Can we shout again, hallelujah? hallelujah. So to give God the praise is to encourage yourself in the Lord. When God is on your side, the earth trembles. The soul says, shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Ha! Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off. You've got to learn how to shake. You've got to learn how to push. You've got to learn how to glorify God. God inhabit the praises of his children. In Psalm 22, verse 3. In other words, God dwells in the atmosphere of praises. When you start praising God, the smoke will come down. Was it not Moses that was talking to God face to face? What about you? When you start praising God, God will come down and dwell in the atmosphere of praise. This means that praise is more than reaction to coming into the presence. Praise to God is a vehicle of faith. Us into presence and power. Praise and worship is a gate pass which allows us to enter the sacredness of his presence. Psalm 100 says, Enter his gate with what? Enter his gate with what? Thank and praise. Thank you, Lord. And he's called with praise. Be thankful to him. Be grateful to God. No matter what goes in your life, remember, you are pursuing happiness. Remember, you are pursuing peace. Remember, you are pursuing victory. Remember, God is on your side. Romans 8, 31 says, what will separate you from the love of God? I ask you that question. What will separate you from the love of God? Nothing! The enemies cannot do it. They are afraid of you. I said they are afraid of you. I tell people, if I see you sitting down, I say, what am I going to do? What is going to happen? <laughs> you are in trouble with me. Because we need to know how to praise God, how to glorify his name. Acts 16, 23 says, but in midnight, Paul and Silas, Everybody say, Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. Praising God. Praising God. Hallelujah. What makes Paul and Silas to praise God? They were in prison. They put them in prison. Not that they did anything wrong, but because they were serving God. So people will just come to you because you are serving God. Don't let that affect you. Women, don't let that affect you. Are you here today? Make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Wow. They were praising God. They were singing. The whole room was shaking. They didn't mind the circumstances that they were. The other prisoners had to give their life to God. They praised God to the point that the chains got loose in their hands and in their legs. So when you start praising God, the chain that the devil put in your hand will be loosened. 
and you say no weapon that is strong against me will ever prosper. Why? Because you are praising God. Woo! When praises go, so what comes down? If I were to be a judge, I said, raise my case. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessings comes down. Presses and elevate us into God's presence and power. When you start praising God, the power of God will just come. Come, let us magnify the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. Psalm 34, verse 4. Are you writing it down? Are you getting it? And the Spirit of God is giving you because the day is a blessing. Amen. That's right. Tell your neighbor that's right. that's right. For the believers, we got to know how to express our worship. You praise God, lifting up the glorifying hand and praising. It is an expression of humbling ourselves and centering our attention upon the Lord. When you praise God, don't look at anybody. Anybody that looks at you say, why are you looking at me that way? I'm praising God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because somebody will try to intimidate you. Somebody will try to hold you down from praising God. You say, oh, sister, am I disturbing you? Sorry, sorry. I'm shifting because I'm ready to do what? Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 High praises bring our spirit into a pinnacle of fellowship and intimacy with God. Remember, God inhabit the presence of his children. So I want you to praise God while you are driving in the car. You are praising God. While you are cooking in the kitchen, you are praising God. While anything that you do, you are praising God. Don't say until I get to the church before I praise God. The church is the place that we meet and we worship him together. But you learn to praise God. The enemy doesn't want you to praise God. But you're going to learn how to praise God. You're going to learn how to magnify yourself before the Lord. Hallelujah. You praise him and magnify his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually beware. 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 Is it in your eyes? Where? In your mouth. Hallelujah. I will continually. I'm not going to stop. Don't stop me. Don't hold me. If you cannot help me, get out of my way. Because I'm ready to praise God. Hallelujah. 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 So, praises is Romans 8. 10, 20 years says, Praise is a sacrifice. A sacrifice. Something that we offer to God sacrificially. Not just because we feel like doing it, but because we believe in Him and we wish to please Him. David says, The sacrifices is a broken heart. Give it to you. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise send their enemies running. Praise the what? Send their enemies running. They will come one way and they will run how many ways? Yes. I want to hear that. They will run how many ways? Yes. They will run how many ways? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's so simple. It's not complicated. You mess every God to be complicated. It's so simple. God, what you need is answer it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And God is ready to do something. It assures the people. Praise and worship to God brings victory. Psalm 100, verse 1 to 10. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Everybody say, make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. Shout again, are you making a joyful noise? Make a joyful noise. Serve the Lord with gladness. Enter his gate with thanksgiving. And 
know that it is God that makes you. You cannot make yourself. You can worry about anything. I'm glad you asked. Do you know how many hair is in your head? <laughs> so why are you worrying? Do you know how many stars that we have? So it's time that God's children stop worrying. See, God redeems Israelites because the children of Israel went into the boldness. But remember, they were in the land of Egypt for so many years. Until it was time, God says, I've heard the affliction of my people. It's time for me to let them go. And he sent a redeemer. And then the enemy said, you know what? We are going to destroy them. We are going to do everything. And they looked up to Moses. Moses said, why are you looking at me? Why? When something happens, what do you do? You look at the pastor. Pastor said, why are you looking at me? What is in your hand? Lift it up. Let me see what is in your hand. Lift your Bible up. Let me see the word. Lift it up. Lift it up. Hallelujah. Some of us don't do it. Obedience is better than sacrifice. See the small thing that God says do. Some of us we don't even know where the Bible is. We put it in the shelves, right? And we keep it there on Sunday. I'm going to the church. You want to make sure the pastor see pastor. Good morning. Good morning, pastor. What are you sharing? Your Bible. Do you read it? Yes. Some people say yes. Some people say I'm not sure. Some people say I will think about it. We need to read. We need to hold on to the word of God. See, the Pharaoh and Egypt represents the world. The enemies. And they cried to God. And God sent the angels. And the angels were leading. And he will lead you. And in the daytime, he will become a pillar of cloud. And the church divided. The enemies cannot see you. But you can see it. And in the night, he becomes the fire. And they cannot see you. But you can see them. And God said, I will make a way. Everybody said, God will make a way. Where seems to be no way. In the side, there was high mountains. In the front, there was a big river. In the back, the enemies are coming. We are dying. We are dying. Why didn't you leave us in Egypt? There's a grave is there for us to die. But you don't know what God is planning for you. And God said, what is in your hand? Stress it out. Stress it out. And you stress it out. And you stress it out. You have any problem, stress it out. And Moses respond in meekness from the rebellious children. See, sometimes we rebel, right? We're supposed to be in the church on time. But what time do we get to the church? Some of us say the pastors understand. Pastor carries everything, right? The pastor will understand. When I get there, I get there. Is that what God's children should say? God makes a way. And they march. Everybody say march. You march on the dry land in the river. You march. My goodness, Isaiah 43. God says, when you pass through waters, Precious in the sight of God. So why are you worried? The fire will come. The mountain will be on the side. But my God will make a way. Can we say praise the Lord? Can we say praise the Lord? So God led them. Deborah and Barak and the Israelites, they responded by recognizing who God is in their lives. When you hear of that song, there was so gratitude with God, what God has done. There is no greater place of victory than when the fight is on. It is important that we find a place of victory in the redemptive work of Christ. Amen. You don't know what is happening until when you face with something. <laughs> what do I say? 
You don't know how God can fight for you until you go through something. We just heard the press report starting from the pastor. Everybody say, Pastor, God bless you. Say, Pastor, you will not die. Before your time, you will live and glorify God. Shout hallelujah! See, the enemy is busy. The enemy is not here to play games. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God says, John 10, 10 have given you that you've given you more life and more abundantly. Abundant life. So you have abundant life when you start praising God. I said, when you start praising God. What do I say? When you start doing what? Praising God. First John 4, 4 says, you are God's little child. Greater is in you than he that is. Greater is in you than he that is. Greater is in you than he that is in the world. Are you claiming it? Yes. You better claim it, you better claim it, you better claim it, you better claim it, you better claim it. Woo! Thank you, Lord. He said, thank you, Lord. So Jesus said, most assuredly, I say unto you, I want to lower my voice so that you can hear. He who hears my word and believes in him, who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but he will pass from death to life. So our desire has to be that people will come cross over from death to life. You don't want to be walking like Zumi. You want the life of God to be in you. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. No matter what the devil is doing, I love this. Pursuing God. God. Let God fight for you. I want to give you another miraculous work that God did in Judges chapter 6. Guess what? Let me come down. Everybody say, Pastor, come down. Pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What God can do, nobody can do for you. Amen. Most of the time, we just take things for granted. We take God for granted. Do you know that there is nothing your God cannot do for you? God can do anything but fail. God bless you. And take away the sickness away from your body in the name of Jesus. The Israelites, after jubilating, after praising God, after glorifying God, they went to worship another God. And God sent the prophet. Everybody said the prophet. Amen. God will come and tell you something. Yes, Stop God. worshiping that thing. Yes. Stop doing that thing. Stop worshiping another God. Yes. Worship me. Yes. I am your father. Yes. I am your maker. Yes. I am your redeemer. Yes. I am your protector. Yes. I am your savior. Yes. I am your master. Yes. I am your healer. Yes. I am everything for you yes. that you can ever do. And some of them did not hear. Some of them heard. But the Mennonites invaded them. And God said, what am I going to do this? There was one man. Everybody said there was one man. There was one man. And his name was Gideon. Gideon did not know who he was. Hallelujah. Gideon looked at himself as a man from the family that doesn't have anything. Did you look at himself as a man that is nobody? See, that's a problem. And he ran, and he was hiding <laughs> somewhere that the enemy would not see him. And here he comes, God comes, and sat beside him, hey, Madam Vala, how are you doing today? Hallelujah! Everybody say, praise the Lord! And he said, who am I talking to? He said, you are a man of valor. We just said, God, if God is for me, and if God is with me, why are we going through all these things? Don't you ask God that question? God, if I'm serving you, heal me, save me. God is coming and 
are sitting back next to you and God is telling you something and you are still crying and you are still crying and God says he will turn your mourning into dancing, yes, your sorrow into joy. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, God, if you are really talking to me, let me know something. Wait, I'll bring you some food. <laughs> Eat this food. God said, go ahead. I'll wait for you. Yeah. And he brought it and God ate. And he said, okay, sure, you're eating. Where is your mouth? Okay, God, I have here a mat. The Bible said a fleece. And he brought the fleece. If you are really sending me, this is the fleece. When I wake up, let it be dry. And let the water be around it. God said, okay. He went to sleep. And he woke up in the morning. The mat was wet. And the water was surrounding the mat. He said, Lord, don't be angry with me. I made that mistake. Please, Lord, let me see again. Let this mat be wet. And let the ground be what? Dry. And that was what happens. So most of the time, by the time he walks up, the same thing happened, and he squeezed it. He said, oh my God, I'm dying. I have seen God's face. God said, you are not dying. You are ready to go for the battle. I'm ready to send you. I'm ready to send you. You may think that you don't amount to anything. You may think that you are not being recognized. You may think that nobody cares about you. But I have something for you. God cares. What do I say? God cares for you. No matter what you are going through. The battle is the Lord. And not yours. All what you need is to praise God. All what you need is to glorify God. I hear the Lord says he's going to be leading you. He's going to be hiding you. Most of the time you feel confused on what to do for yourself. God said, I'm going to direct your path in the name of Jesus. God said, keep on looking at me. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, dear Father, Lord. And Gideon had to go with the strength. The first thing he did was to break the bars, God's destruction. And the people were angry. See, when you are serving God, people will be angry. Yeah. I said, when you are praising God, people will be angry. You don't have to let that to bother you. I will bless the Lord at all times. I'm going to glorify his holy name because, see, you just don't understand where I was. You just don't understand what God has done for me. If I were to tell you, I will be praising him. I will be glorifying his name. Wow, nobody will stop me. Because God has not forgotten about you. God is ready to do something in your life. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. Our God is ready. Amen. You may give all the excuses in this life, but God is ready to do something. Say one thing the devil doesn't want you to do is to praise God. <laughs> you can start speaking in tongues. Shokolo, shokolo, but the devil doesn't want you to be delivered. All right. The devil doesn't want you to be delivered. God is ready to do something. Because Gideon was in agreement with failure. And God said, that's not you, a man of valor. The same thing that Isaiah told God, I am a man with unclean lips, and I live among unclean people. And God said, who will go for me after wiping their mouth? Say, wipe that mouth. Everybody said, wipe that mouth. Wipe, mouth. wipe it out. Wipe that mouth. Wipe Forget mouth. about your lipstick. You said my lipstick is going to be wipe it out. I want to see wipe it out. Woo! See, we think of what we are wearing. Oh my goodness. Think about that soul. God will wipe that mouth. And he said, who will go for me? And whom will I send? As I say, here I am, Lord, send me. We're talking of women's conference. And this is something that we do every year. And God is doing something in your life. Amen. Thank you, Father. I just want to do something. I want two women. I saw somebody with tambourine. Get up if you have any tambourine in your hand. 
Anything you pray for the Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. Hallelujah.